So, um, uh, this is uh, September 5th, 2021. So, uh, the other night, uh, last night, this morning, actually, last night into this morning, right? So, uh, first there's the videos that I tried to upload and very interesting things happened where it uh, basically sort of screamed to me that like, you know, the videos that I uploaded, even though there were multiple videos, um, and although those, those multiple videos were actually one long video that my phone diced up into three different pieces of videos by itself, uh, giving each one a specific number. identification code the bottom line is that uh you know something happened that uh said to me that all of those videos were being labeled as one same number so that's cool uh so that's nothing uh, well i mean that's not nothing but i mean pro probably i mean they're just gonna sum it up as nothing so who gives a fuck so um then I moved on to uh, more interesting uh, issues, which was, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, which was the, uh, the cell phone, right? So the bottom line is that, like, you know, as of uh, almost a month ago, about a month ago, I uploaded a video call of trying to figure out why my credit report is telling me I'm deceased, right? I mean, already the answer is that I signed uh, a witness statement, which then I was basically somewhat coerced, if not forced, because, I mean, what is the definition of forced? Well, basically, forced is that if I did not sign the witness protection form after writing the witness statement, the sheriff's department, the uh, heroic boys in, the fuck is that, dirt nigger colors? What the fuck is that? What, what is that? Like, you, you fucking, you came out of the crawled out of the fucking desert and put on a fucking uniform you think you're a fucking green beret with the fucking green fucking i mean i mean seriously uh, well you, you think you're a part of the fucking sky gods what the fuck you know i don't give a shit so the point is is um so after i wrote the witness statement uh about what i was told about you know the person who killed some girl uh named Kristen smart and um then he tells me that he's going to set me up, my family up, which is also his family and a whole bunch of other families up at the same time. Uh, yeah, they made me sign a witness protection form, which I didn't want to sign. And um, yet I signed it because I thought, you know, I didn't even understand any of this. I was young. I was young. I was, what, what was I, like 15? Uh, I was still 15. So, um, basically, uh, by, by signing that form, uh, they fucking, at this point, you know, little did I realize it, uh, had pretty much fucking control of my life, which now I'm finding out more and more over the past 24 years, even though that they, uh, knew where this girl's body was, uh, in multiple locations, that were mentioned, uh, they supposedly found her body in a very specific location that, uh, you know, they mentioned, but only mentioned, uh, due to the fact that as far as her body goes, it was, uh, supposedly chopped up by lawnmowers, but they were able to still at that point in time, uh, get the DNA that they needed to match it up with her. But then there's this whole fucking trial that then takes 24 fucking years later. 
uh, because they didn't they they weren't they didn't have warrants, right? And it wasn't they he moved the body to different locations, and then the location that it was uh, found, from what I understand, that body was chopped up into little pieces from lawnmowers. Uh, due to the area that it was in and all this other shit. And then and then let's not forget the gang that found out what was going on. So then they just started to like litter the bodies in close to the proximity of the area. Like just litter them like fucking Hitler graves type of shit. Uh, seriously. And um, you know. So anyway... Uh, due to all of that wonderful, um, stuff, uh, I go back into the, um, simple fact that, uh, you know, so after arguing with, uh, the company that I bought to check into my credit score, uh, for the past three, four months, and, uh, this was about the eighth call or so, uh, that I made to them that I was like, well, what the fuck is really going on? I mean, like, you guys are being paid to do this, and what are you really doing? It's like, you know, well, sir, your internet provider is blocking you from checking your credit score. It's like, wow, my internet provider. So you mean my phone company, right? So then fucking, you know, I start going off on, well, is there an investigation starting? There should be an investigation started already. Uh, why haven't you have any details to me at this point in time about any investigation that should already be started from the first phone call three months prior? And, uh, you know, then there was the whole, you know, simple fucking plastic runaround bullshit. Uh, did I mention I was living in the house where they kidnapped me when I was four in the front part of the house? And then they tried to kill me. Well, I guess they might have tried to kill me the first time, but with my three-year-old uh, little nephew cousin slash. Uh, but the um, you know, then around 17 years old, they tried to kill me in the attic uh, uh, with a little girl's dead body that was already up there. Thought it was a paper mache doll with a two and a half inch uh, funnel web fucking Australian spider. And the reason I know that is from the detectives that told me they're like. These spiders aren't even supposed to be in America. It's like, well, guess what? They are. Um, <coughs> um, so, um, yeah, there's all that. And, um, oh, back to what I was saying. Uh, what I was saying is that, you know, it's like, it's kind of interesting that right after I posted that video about literally like, you know, the phone call that I made to the credit company to find out why I'm deceased, of course, in my credit, you know, and where my million dollars fucking back then over almost two million dollar fucking bank account, where the fuck is the bank account, you know, which is now fucking probably God knows how much money due to the fact it was a very special bank account where I needed to do a retina scan, a fucking fingerprint, fucking finger palm, fucking, you know, ink fucking, you know, certification. Plus, I needed to give my fucking blood. So, it's like, um, yeah, for the paperwork. So, yeah, uh, so, you know, I'm just wondering where that is. And then, uh, you know, then, of course, there's me calling the people that are supposed to be checking into my credit and, you know, asking them over and over and over and over and over again and, telling them that, you know, my fucking, uh, multi-layered, uh, high-value fucking IP address that, um, has basically been robbing the entire fucking planet, okay, oh, but don't worry, the Pentagon was completely aware of this, even before I was aware of what a fucking IP address was, <laughs> the Pentagon knew, <coughs> so it's like, yeah, so that's cool, and, um, then, um, what I'm saying is that, so I had these, uh, you know, people looking into my, you know, obviously I'm a nobody, you know, seriously, I mean, <laughs> you know, so I had them look into like, you know, why is it that my credit score is so hard to check? Uh, basically, I'm just turned fucking a whopping 40 years old. It's like, oh my God, I feel so old, but that's only due to the radiation, uh, you know, poisoning. Uh, that I've received over the years through the fucking, uh, you know, what I first and probably still was being hit with uh, radioactive diamond dust, but also asbestos uh, poisoning, uh, 
with uh, other drugs included, which was just a cocktail of what the fuck, why hasn't he killed anybody yet? And it's like, well, you see, it's like, well, you know, this is a couple reasons why. But then it's like, and then, and then I remembered the one person I killed, but then fucking that person came fucking to my house fucking seven, eight days later. So that was complete. Don't worry. The police were right there when I shot the motherfucker. Actually, the police and the fucking agency that was there fucking were the ones that handed me the gun to shoot the fucking motherfucker, which then was at my house ten days later. But st- st- don't don't worry about that. Just understand that that is... As far as I understand it, the only person that I ever shot dead. Uh, But, don't worry. That person was completely alive ten days later, giving me a hug in my house. Before telling me he was going right back to doing some really fucking evil shit. And I was just like, I watched you die. It's like, you know. So, forget about that. But, just in case, you know, I might as well mention that too. And, um... Yeah, because there's, I mean, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot I'm leaving out right now, but, but, let's get back to the, uh, you know, conversation I was having with the, uh, credit people that was supposed to be looking into my credit, so, you know, and I'm like, well, why the fuck is it that, you know, I still can't check my own fucking credit, why is my credit score, uh, telling me that I am deceased, Because I'm pretty sure at this point, fucking dead people can't actually kill people. So I'm thinking about, I've I've been planning a lot of death and destruction. And I'm like, you know, it's like, but then I need money to do that. So then I'm kind of fucking in a conundrum there too. So here's the thing, right? So in the end, uh, fucking me and this guy, you know, we kind of like have this, you know, big long talk. Which then I post on social media. And, uh, you know, I'm like, you know, and he's like, well, you know, if you have to call this, these people, and I'm like, well, shouldn't the investigation already be underway? And it's like, well, you got to call these people. I'm like, wouldn't that actually negate the first investigation that should be underway? He's like, you're right. I'm like, so why are you telling me that? It's like, ta-da, you know, so then it's like, so then it's like, you know, it's like, you know, oh, did I mention the two million, hold on, where is it, uh, Let's not forget my $2 million fucking diamond of death. You know what I'm saying? Ta-da! It's almost Halloween. So, anyway, so the thing is fucking... Yeah, so, um... Yeah, was I? Oh, that's right. So, after having this uh, extended talk, uh, the eighth or so phone call with these people that should be looking into why can I not fucking... Because the only thing I ever did in life The only thing I ever did in life, I don't don't even know, you know what, I just arrived here, I have no history, Uh, the thing is, the only thing I did in life was buy this cell phone right here, that's the only thing I ever did in life, it's crazy, it's it's fucking crazy, when I think about how fucking crazy that is, it actually makes me want to really be fucking crazy, and just, you know, so anyway, so uh, moving on, um, Yeah, so, so after that, and after I post that phone call of, you know, obviously it was an imaginary phone call, you know, I mean, I really wasn't talking to anybody or anything, you know what I'm saying, that should have already been doing an investigation, but then were suggesting to me to start another investigation by calling other people, which then would negate the first investigation that should be already going on, so it was like, you know, it's... It's like, yeah, so, uh, after thinking of probably multiple ways to just fucking kill myself as quickly and as fucking efficiently as possible, uh, to get the job fully done in the end so that I can get the fuck off this goddamn fucking planet, I said fucking, I said to myself, like, wow, look at this, it's like, all of a sudden, a month later, I look in my phone, and I got a fucking alert. I got an alert, like, a week after that fucking phone call. I uploaded a, a, a week, so about three weeks ago, I got an alert in my phone, but because I'm so fucking paranoid and 
do I click this email? Do I click that email? I didn't click the email. I didn't even look. I don't even look at my fucking emails, honestly. I don't, I don't there's no fucking point to it. But I said, oh, let's see. And I said, oh, look at this. It said, oh, look at that. My phone company has been completely fucking hacked. <laughs> oh, man. You know, so, you know, that's been fun. And uh, so, yeah, so last night I came across that and fucking I was like, wow, that's, uh, that's just another coincidence, I guess. It's just... Lots of fucking coincidences. Lots of coincidences. It's just, it's just coincidence after coincidence. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. You know, at this point, at this, at this point, I spent most of my money on fucking booze and cigarettes, and I fucking, hopefully, it, it, I'm trying to encourage myself to walk in front of a fucking train, but that's not happening. So I keep praying to God that fucking he will send a fucking plane to land on my head. And if not, I'm trying to fucking provoke Putin into fucking actually fucking sending fucking a nuclear missile to exactly my fucking coordinates, which I still haven't looked up yet. But I mean, the fucking address is there. I mean, it's, 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 I've posted it multiple times to fucking say, please fucking kill me and fucking burn the body and then reburn the body and reburn whatever the fuck is left from there, and, and so on and so forth, until there's nothing, so, uh, but in the meantime, uh, so then, uh, 50 million people, uh, more than likely, a lot of them were just ignorant fucking pieces of shit anyway, so I'm an, I, I obviously, I'm an ignorant piece of shit myself, I said, oh, wow, look at that, fucking the company, a week after I told them about fucking why the fuck hasn't there been, you know, it's like, and that, you know, this, and they're like, well, your, your internet provider, which would be my phone company, which was T-Mobile at the time, actually still is, I guess, you know, if you want to consider fucking me being honest, because I'm just saying to my fucking self, fuck being honest, but at the same time, it's like, in this situation, it's like, honesty, I guess, is the best policy, because, you know, nobody gives a fuck anyway, which totally makes the truth way more fucking fun when you're telling somebody to their face, this is why you're all going to die. You know what I'm saying, son? Cheers to me. <laughs> it's like, came here as the savior, ended up as the dark lord. Who knew? You know what I mean? Fucking who knew? So anyway, their, uh, their customers uh, were uh, all hacked. Uh, 50 million to 100 million customers were hacked of all their social security information, their fucking driver's IDs, their driver license photos, all of this fucking, pretty much in fucking all of what needed to fucking happen so that fucking, you know, they could be completely fucked over. So, you're welcome. <laughs> you're totally welcome. Uh, I've been trying to tell people, don't care, don't want to watch my videos, we're good. We're fucking good. Saved the world a couple times. Don't give a fuck about saving it now. You know, just, by the way, <laughs> that's a funny thing that that comes up. You remember that whole thing, COVID? You know that? You know, not only did I help find the virus and then a team of Marines moved in to collect the virus. And then, you know, there was a group of scientists that started to, uh, 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 reverse engineer the virus so that, you know, it wouldn't impact the people, uh, in a horrible fucking everything, including the fucking crickets, mice, and fucking pretty much the worms and the dirt die on planet earth. Um, the thing about that is that, uh, yeah, that's still going on, but I had saved twice before that, uh, due to other people's help. I'm going to go sit down because my joints, um, in my body are still, oh, see? You know, my joints can only uh, stand uh, so much for so long, and it's like you know. And then, I, and then, of course, you know, I'll push myself and fucking, because I'm an old man at fucking my age, and it's like you know, it's like there's a lot of things that it's like da da, it's like so um so so then so the point um that uh yeah so. So, amongst all of that, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, I was thinking about, <clears throat> you 
you know, all this other shit in my head, like jerking off, obviously, uh, so that, you know, a few of the people can get a joke out of what I'm saying at this moment in time in this video, uh, where it's like, oh, you see, he is a jerk off. It's like, yeah, well, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like, nah, I fucked his daughter. It's like, you know, whatever. That's cool. You know, I guess, um, the thing is, uh, well, you know, hey, I killed all his children. It's like, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Especially since, you know, it's like, ha ha, I killed the planet. Ha ha, you know, but I saved it first. So it's like heaven and hell. Da, 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 da. Like you're not Jesus. It's like, you're right. I'm the dark Lord, bitch. <laughs> fucking, oh, the fucking Mr. Perez, you, you old man, you, you put your wife in your fucking shed and because you knew that the fucking law was fucking the law, the cops couldn't even check the fucking shed, it was fucking hilarious, I mean, seriously, Damon, I mean, Damien, Damon, should I call you Damon or, or Damien, Damien, you know, how, it was, you must have been like, really guys, seriously, my mom's in the shed, in the back of the house, ta-da, you know what I mean, it's like, but no, you didn't, so, I mean, it's like, it's like what I couldn't do, that. well, you know, hey, I hear you, man, Dark Lord and shit, grr, you know, it's like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even, I'm not even drunk, this is fucking somewhat natural, but I am a little bit tipsy, but not that fucking drunk, I'm just like, this shit, this shit fucking, there's no way to fucking not fucking, this, you know, fucking not be drunk, trust me, I would rather be fucking, at this point, I would totally fucking rather be somewhere on a fucking boat, sniffing fucking pillows of cocaine, uh, watching fucking beautiful fucking girls dance, or do something that they like to do because I don't want to talk about fucking just about anything with anybody. Period. And, um, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like you know, it's, yeah, so uh, then fucking, so then, then, you know, I started thinking about, you know, how, uh, you know, uh, there was something that really, I mean, other than the other kid that fucking completely fucking you know, like, supposedly off this girl that, you know, I signed the witness statement for, and, you know, and then fucking, you know, they, they, the sheriff's department, you know, the fucking heroic, uh, unbelievably, you know, I mean, they really, uh, you know, are, uh, upstanding, uh, you know, totally fucking, you know, and then it's, you know, uh, made me sign the witness protection form. Other than that story, uh, there is the other story that recently has just come to fucking mind that I'm just like, oh so yeah, those two people are up for fucking parole and fucking soon enough. And it's like, you know, it's, and they've been up for parole, but there are other three buddies who completely raped and bloody, bloody, like they, it was pretty fucking, it was pretty fucking horrific what they did to these, uh, two girls. They, they weren't bad looking guys, no homo, you know, um, but you know, um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, what they did to these two girls, uh, was pretty horrific, and, um, you know, and then I'm thinking about, like, how three of those people are dead, and, uh, when I was in jail, uh, during 9-11, which I tried to help stop, but, uh, unfortunately, the police had other fucking you know, plans, which was basically throw me in jail after fucking making sure that I came in contact with what I thought was, uh, my gun, uh, which probably was Damian Perez's gun, uh, uh, police issued Suffolk County Glock 9, uh, and I'm only figuring this out only recently, because I'm just like, I didn't even remember this part of it, like, the whole... Yeah, he lost his gun like three times. I mean, it's like, that's like losing your dick. You know what I'm saying? It's like, where'd my dick go? It's like, I don't know, it's lost. It's like, ah, oh, maybe the little boy has it over there. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what fucking, oh, man, thank you. Let's go check. It's like, yep, yeah, nope, no gun. It's like, oh, he hid it somewhere. He's like a dog. 
he digs holes. Oh, let's not forget about the holy shit killer that they were trying to turn me into around about the time that Tupac and the fucking Gaddafi situation. And... Oh, don't worry about that. I, I don't have COVID. Um, but what I do have is a special shot that was put in my arm by the federal government, which identifies me as a federal agent from uh, a multitude of different uh, sources. Hopefully, please, God, send me a fucking nuclear bomb right here, man. We are good. We are good. Don't send the EMPs first like I totally fucking would have planned if I was me, you know what I'm saying? Where every fucking, you know, just dropping EMPs all over the... No, no, don't do that. Let them... I don't I don't want to die with these people. I want them to leave. Please kill me. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. And, um... So... Uh, where was I? Uh... COVID. No, that wasn't. You know what? I forgot. Let, let's all take a minute. Let's all take a minute and breathe. Let's all breathe. Like God intended. Do you know what I'm saying? In the Matrix. Where nothing's real. I turn the radio on, but I don't want the video to be fucking shut down. <laughs> hmm. Gun this, that, and then went to jail. Oh, tried to stop 9-11, right? And then fucking that didn't work out so well. Plus, they were trying to set up the girl who was supposed to be my wife, but she probably fucking hates me by now, so it's okay. I love her still, and, you know, I know that's just a cuck move, you know what I mean? But it's like, you know... Don't worry. I completely fucking... It's alright. I have kids. It's okay. No, I feel horrible. It's a fucking... This whole thing is fucking messed up. I was like, wow, man. And it was like a rainbow. And then it was like... You know, it's like, well, we took the egg. And then it was like, wow. And then we fucking... And then this. And then it was that. And then it fucking... And then it fucking is. And, and let's not forget the reoccurring fucking, you know, it's like, holy shit, that really, that song's real, man. It's like, <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Tupac's mom stole the Batmobile and shot a cop on the way. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know that song. <laughs> Yo, man. Anyway, so, and it's like, you know, it's almost Halloween and then, you know, Thanksgiving and then Christmas. All holidays, I pretty much almost died on. Except for Christmas. Did I ever almost die on Christmas? I'm not sure. No. No. No, I have not. No. Actually. Anyway, so, that's the, I think that's the one holiday... Let's not jinx it. Anyway, so moving on. So the point being is that, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, the death, destruction, this, that, uh, and then the fucking oh, then we keep drug rules, but we didn't go into that. And then uh, the yeah, right, the, the fucking this and that, and then all uh, the IP address and the fucking X Men children, and then and then I was, uh, and then there was, uh, and there was more of that. Fucking, what the fuck was I going to say? The, um... Oh, that's right. The people I put in jail, which three of them were put to death. Oh, that's wonderful, man. So anyway, the other two are up for parole uh, soon enough. And, you know, hopefully they understand that it was just like, I, I, I did my best to save your lives from being executed, which then, you know... It's already because you were like, well, this, we're going to come for you anyway. And it's like, ta-da! It's like I wasn't, you know, even if I was mentioned in the paperwork, I didn't have to actually do more than just uh, locate the uh, bodies that nobody found, which were somehow surprisingly in the same area that they checked. 
almost like the Paul Flores thing. But anyway, uh, here's the thing. Um, so, which then that involves fucking some real complicated shit that only like high level fucking police and or FBI and or fucking would know and understand. Which then they'll just completely deny because that is what fucking happens. And that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, I was really, I didn't really fucking, and then I was just like wondering why is it that all this shit keeps, I was like this, all this was forgotten about. To me, myself, to myself, I was like, I completely forgot everything, man. Like, really, really did. Totally forgot pretty much everything in my life. And, uh. Yeah, so then I end up in the house that I was kidnapped when I was four, in the front part of the house, and then uh, almost killed when I was about 17 with the little girl's dead body that was already turned into what looked like fucking pretty much fucking paper mache is how fucking dehydrated while the spider climbed out of her fucking throat hole. Ah, so, uh, in a fucking attic full of nails, it was crazy. So I'm just like, yeah, that's fun. And then, um, oh, which brings me to the next point. Yeah, so, as I started thinking about the two killers that should be up for parole uh, sometime soon enough, uh, which, you know, basically, by me telling the police officers at the time that this all went down, uh, which was three years before it could possibly even go down, uh, but still, fucking, you know, it went down, and that's just where I'm just gonna say that, you know, it's like, you're so welcome that, you know, I, I guess I, you know, I tried giving you, like, some sort of new life, uh, eventually, and, uh, what was being put in your head was pretty fucking severely fucked up, and what happened to those two girls, uh, was even more fucked up, and, um, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of fucking, so try not to hold too much against me, because it's like, you know, because it's like, have you, have you seen this shit? I, I, I don't care. I don't care, I never got paid for you guys going, you know, it's like, it's like, I, I was told that fucking, you know, it was a movie anyway, and fucking, you know what, it's like, you know, ta -da. so anyway, so that's all that, and, um, you know, it's like, you know, that's, that's fucking great, but then, but then, then, then I said to myself, ah, oh, man, last night, so after all of this, and, you know, after, you know, the whole, you know, 50 million customers were hacked in the phone company and me trying to fucking warn, like, fucking everybody from fucking this person to that, but who fucking ever, and it doesn't matter, the Pentagon fucking knew all those years ago that, uh, that it was just like, well, let's just see, and I was like, yeah, that's like, yes, let's just see, because I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, but when I do have the understanding of what you may be talking about, I'll be back to you. In the meantime, I'm gonna go be a kid and smoke pot and fucking try to get my dick sucked. Uh, yeah, so it, this is all that time later, and it's like, you know what, fucking, you know, it's like, da-da, fucking, you know, because everything that 